Transfer Portal Intel. Ohio State already got their own segment on the show. So I'm not going to dive back into all the big moves Ohio State's made. Uh, you can look it up on the channel if you want to. But Lance Hurd, I am going to talk about. Because that is a 6'6", 340-pound offensive tackle, former four-star, played just about every game for LSU this past year, and he's headed to Tennessee. Uh, LSU was loaded enough and deep enough at tackle that he may have been the odd man out, and so he was a freshman All-SEC, and he hits the open market, and he's got three years of eligibility left, and Josh Heupel had a big need at that position, and now it's the seventh portal edition for Tennessee. They went and got him. Big splash. I know it hasn't made a ton of front-page headline because of what's been going on at Ohio State. This is a really big deal for Tennessee. That's a plug-and-play type guy. 6'6", 340. He's a five-star. I said he was a four-star. He's a former five-star in the 2023 cycle. What about Des Ricks? He has landed at Texas A&M, number 19 overall player in the portal, number four corner, 6'1", 182 corner. He got three years left. That's 21 guys who have portaled out of College Station. That's 23 who have now portaled in. Just massive roster turnover. Mike Elko, new head coach there, got the number two overall transfer portal class. They... It, it's, it's just amazing. When you look at the top 40 players in the recruiting cycle for 2023, it's only one year ago, eight of the top 40 have already transferred. So that's, that's not quite 25%, but it's getting close to 25%. Uh, Alabama's making some moves. So you saw guys walk out the door for a second. That may be done. We'll see. Now guys are starting to walk in. They got the number one center in the country. Uh, Parker Brailsford has committed to Alabama. Played for Washington, part of that Joe Moore award-winning offensive line up there. Number one inside offensive lineman. Uh, first team freshman All-American at Washington last year. Started 13 games at center for him. And it's a really good thing for Bama. And by the way, just a little while ago, Jeremy Bernard, who's been on campus for him, uh, he's a receiver that was at Washington. He was their number four receiver behind those three NFL guys and still had 419 receiving yards last year. He's also committed to Alabama as of the last hour or so. So Taylor DeBoer has looked at his roster he left behind and said, uh, I'll take that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Uh, not that many. You just get what I'm saying there. But I am looking at Washington and this is wild. Like, everyone's, everyone's looking at Bama saying, oh, man, so sad for Bama. Really, they're not. Bama fans are. Dude, look at Washington. Listen to this. So they just won the Joe Moore Award, best offensive line in college football, right? All five of them are gone, either to the portal or to the draft. All five of them are gone. The entire starting offense is now gone. 20 of 22 overall starters are gone. They've got... Two defensive guys, I think as of now, that are set to return. That's the transfer portal era. And Jed Fish is now the head coach up there. Totally new team. And they head into the Big Ten this year. Amari um, Nyblack, he's a guy who left Alabama. 6'4", 233-pound tight end. Uh, third leading receiver for Bama last year. He's headed to Texas. Texas has been a big-time portal player. They will continue to be that. He was number one at his position, number 30 overall in the portal. And you know Jatavian Sanders out the door. Amari Nyblack walks right in, and he's a guy, you can see him doing really big things in that Steve Sarkeesian offense. 6'4", 233 pounds, and probably, probably still has a lot of untapped potential. Texas now number one tight end from the portal, number one wide receiver and number seven wide receiver, number one safety um, number four edge guy. So you recruit very well, and they're recruiting at a top five level, and then you just go sprinkle portal dust on your roster. And that's the recipe for being a playoff team. Trey Amos also left Alabama. So we're now seeing the guys who left Alabama. We're seeing them all find landing spots. Trey Amos uh, was a guy who, in spot duty, played very well for Bama last year. He played in all 14 games. He was the number eight corner in the portal uh, played three seasons down at Louisiana, and he transferred to Bama, so he was just at Bama last year. He's gone to Ole Miss, and that's the third DB that Ole Miss has added, and it's understandable because uh, Ole Miss was 75th in pass D overall in 2023. So I know it's mid-January, and I thought we were done talking about the portal, but anytime these coaches leave, 
their roster is open. It's ripe for the plucking. If Harbaugh leaves Michigan and they elevate Sharon Moore, a lot of people are waiting to see how many players would leave there. If, if they don't elevate Sharon Moore and Michigan goes outside for a hire, then that guy's roster, it's open season on them. And vicious cycle, this transfer portal, vicious cycle.